Okay, in this experiment, we're going to investigate the effect of temperature, which you shall be measuring with the thermometer, on the rate of reaction. We shall need two reagents. Number one is sodium thiosulfate, and number two is two molar hydrochloric acid. So in this one, the procedure is simple. You need to measure 30 cubic centimeters of sodium thiosulfate and put in each of these five conical flasks. So I'm going to do that right away. Measure 30 centimeters cubed. And you make sure that when you're reading the volume on the measuring cylinder that you are perpendicular to that level to avoid the parallax effect. Your eye level must be at a right angle. Okay, so it must be direct. Good. I think I got that one. 30 centimeters cubed in the first one. Then of course 30 centimeters cubed in the second. So we'll just do this until all of them have 30 cubic centimeters of sodium thiosulfate. second conical flask you go for the third okay. make sure no bubbles are obscuring your vision good third one and let's go for the fourth No bubbles are obscuring your vision there. Great. Now I have five conical flasks filled with 30 cubic centimeters of sodium thiosulfate. The next thing is to measure the steady temperature. So I want to measure the steady temperature of one of the solutions in the flask. So I'm going to put my thermometer right there and I put it inside the solution, you can see. So I need to make sure that it doesn't touch the wall of the container so that I get the exact value for the solution. Okay, so I read that on the thermometer. And of course, I'm going to get something like, okay, I need this thing to focus. temperature there is 22 degrees great so the next thing I'm going to do is to measure two centimeters cubed of two molar hydrochloric acid I just need two so be very careful to measure two centimeters cubed well let me do it outside the camera then I'm going to get it back okay great there you go I have two cubic centimeters then next, I need to draw an X on a piece of paper, like this. Then I place it right there, and then I put this on top of it. I need to remove this. I know my temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay, now I have just adjusted the camera so that you can see the X from the top. So I've put the solution there, the 30 centimeters cubed of sodium thiosulfate. And you know the temperature of this solution is at 22 degrees so what i'm going to do i'm going to add the hcl the two cubic centimeters swirl the mixture and place it onto the x and immediately i should start the stopwatch so i go there good so you need to measure the time it will take for the x to disappear completely when it is viewed from the top So you make sure that you're viewing it from the top, not from the side. So there you go. Uh -huh. Okay, it must disappear completely. And that's it.
42 seconds. So you record that in your data book. So now for the next solution, 30 centimeters cubed of sodium thiosulfate. I'm going to warm it until it is 30 degrees Celsius. All right, now at 30 degrees Celsius, I'm going to add, of course, two centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid. So here, immediately I should start the stopwatch. Look at the cross. Note the time taken, that will take for the cross to disappear completely. And you must be looking at it from the top, not from the side. And there, 24 seconds. So I'm going to record this in my data book and repeat the same with the rest of the solutions. But now, the third one, I'll be having it at 40 degrees Celsius. The next, it'll be at 50 and then 60 degrees. Great, now at 40 degrees Celsius. Now at 50 degrees Celsius. And there you go, nine seconds. So you need to be quick on this one. And now at 60 degrees Celsius.